Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, an inside scoop on probably the most anticipated set of the year, the Razorback Blitz. All of the footage today was provided by Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector. We're working on an amazing website right now and his Facebook group is the place for Halo collecting. Ah, the Razorback Blitz. I didn't even know if we'd get to this day. It's been so long since it was first teased. And you know, it's been a bit of a slow few months for Mega Constructs. They're clearly ramping it up, ready for November. And then of course, December for Infinite's release. But hey, this thing looks fantastic, man. The four figures are awesome. The vehicle looks like it packs a real punch and the alt build is outstanding. So Warthog run music at the ready, fellas. We're storming into Halo Infinite today. It's almost a shame to break open that packaging. It's one of my favorites. I love all of the infinite sets when you can see the ring in the background. The numbered bags make building this set a doozy. When 343 first announced this, I knew it was gonna be a fan favorite. A troop transport hog is perfect for campaign. You can store weapons on the back and take your squad anywhere. And it was obviously a matter of time until Mega Constructs made this. Of course, they made it even before infinite came out. What legends. Here's the four figures. The Marine is obviously obviously quite basic, but that's understandable when the other figures are Kelly, a brute warrior, and Victor the Grunt. Let's take a look at that Marine first. Yes, pretty basic, you know, we've had the Halo Infinite Marine in so many iterations by now, but you know what? It's the standard Marine. We have to army build this thing ready for some enormous dioramas, you know, and there's nothing new here. Everything is just standard, but it's still a really nice Marine. And it is fairly generous, mind you, that they included two shoulder pieces. A lot of the Marines including the blind bag marine, don't include shoulders. We've got a very basic Chips Dubo style head underneath that helmet, but then it's building up to the Kelly. I mean, look at this figure. This is awesome. The first thing, unfortunately, that did stand out to me is she doesn't have Kelly inscripted on her chest or her Spartan number, which, you know, that's a bit of a shame, but those gold highlights, I didn't even pick up on that when I first saw the display image of this, so Kelly took me by a very pleasant surprise. That huge golden glossy visor is amazing. I love all visors from Halo that are big bubbles, and then you can see that gold trimming highlights on her shoulder shoulders, legs, and a little bit on her back. This is a really nicely done figure and just so awesome that Mega Constructs is making the whole of blue team modeled after Shadows of Reach. Oh, look, it's my boy. It's my boy, Victor. Victor the Grunt. Yes, he has been so famous since we had a meme competition, uh, just celebrating this grunt, the pack mule grunt. It was one of the first things that was unveiled about Halo, like a brand new character, Victor the Grunt. And we just had so much fun with this meme, so it's great to see him. You can now find him in Blind Bag Series 3, the Razorback, and the Banished Garrison set coming soon. I love that Banished Red insignia on his helmet. I also love that his helmet is silver compared to the rest of his body, it makes it pop and stand out really nicely. So generous with weapons, man. A spike grenade, plasma pistol, and two shock rifles. And I do really dig that both of the shock rifles are in red this time. And just look at all that detail. Even on his backpack, all those dark red lines. This is a really outstanding quality figure, which did surprise me because usually the grunts are a little uh, lacking on the detail side, but this isn't. This is really nice. Uh, he, he's an ugly boy underneath that helmet, but uh, so are all the grunts, uh, don't judge. And we're leading up to the man, the myth, the legend, the monkey boy, 
Craig the Brute, our brand new Brute Warrior, which has so many upgrades compared to all the other Brute Warriors in the past. Like that purple armor is awesome. That plasma launcher looks really great and it is in red. This is a re-release again of an old weapon. I don't think it confirms that this is going to be an infinite. We'll just have to wait and see. But look at that silver detailing on his chest and the bottom of his torso, man. It's fantastic. Like this Craig is maybe the most highly detailed Craig next to the Master Chief versus Brute Warrior pack. That one is really nice. I really like those extra purple wrist straps on his arms and the colors just fade into the jumpsuit really well. I can just, ah, I could look at this one all day, folks. This is a really nice figure. I cannot wait to uh, just army build an absolute ton of these. And the alt build means you really can. Ah, oh, there he is. My Craig. <laughs> uh, the meme will never die. Even if the meme is dead, I will keep it going. Folks, this is the Razorback Blitz, and they are the four figures that are included in this set. But we've not even talked about the big one yet. The Razorback itself. Look at this thing. What a beast. Yeah, it was about time we got a sort of revival of the Warthog. We've been rocking Gauss Hog, Rocket Hog, and Warthog for so many years, so it's really cool to get a new one. And so long since we've had a troop transport. Ever since I saw this, I just dream about rocking around the ring, attacking banished camps, rescuing marines, and them all jumping on board and riding off into the sunset. Like, I, I got big expectations for that campaign, man. Up close and personal with the Razorback now. The color is uh, pretty mute, pretty basic all the way through, but I don't mind it at all. I would have liked a bit more scratch or battle damage on this thing, but that's just a minor complaint. I love how the rods run from the front all the way to the back. They look really secured, really well thought out and designed. And you can clearly see on the back where the weapon holster is. You could probably put a lot of different intel in the back of there. Going all the way around the hog, I am really impressed with the build overall. And you can see there are some really nice details by the driver's seat, a really nice print display and also what looks like an ejector seat button. I don't know, that, that lever looks like it's going to eject your marines off the back. Now, what Kevin at Halo Collector told me he's really impressed by is the suspension of this Warthog. We've had really, really highly detailed suspension coming in with the Warthog Rally. And this one, you can see it dips and folds however you want. With a small amount of pressure, you can position this in a number of different ways, leaning on the front or back wheels. So I'm, I'm really impressed with that. That's a great design choice. The Razorback does keep a lot of the same design features as the normal Warthog, but in general, there are a lot of big upgrades here and it really feels like a meaty machine. I'm so looking forward to rocking up on this in the campaign. I'm gonna be riding this as much as possible. I just ah, the, my, my hopes and expectations build for the campaign so much. It's the last piece of the puzzle for me, you know, can 343 really pull it off? Because damn, they have pulled it off with the multiplayer so far. A UNSC Marine, Spartan Kelly, Grunt Mule, and Brute Warrior make up the Razorback Blitz. The hottest item of this year and one of the most anticipated sets of all time. I am blown away by the quality and just all of the different design features that have gone into the Razorback Blitz, including Kelly redesigning designed as a member of Shadows of Reach is just such a great move. The Grunt Mule has way more detail than I've ever seen from a Grunt before, and the Brute Warrior has lovely silver detailings all over his body. Folks, this footage was made possible by the amazing team at Halo Collector. Please follow them for the best Halo community on the internet, and stay tuned for news on our website. This was another video with The Domain. Stick it with this channel for all your Halo collecting news.